strategy just to save a few pennies. You'll pick them up on that sheet. I warned you tonight. All right, B. Who are you and what's your game? Well, if it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? It's a vital step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to dictate the results of contested elections, we can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free, sir. This is so like you, Gladstone. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of progress than surrender one iota of power. <laughs> by God, this lady, you are a fool. I'll not stand idly by and watch you drag parliamentary privilege through the muck. No, certainly not. You'd rather return us to the yoke of tyranny? Perhaps while we're at it, Mr. Gladstone, we could repeal Magna Carta and return the crowd to the bloody stirrups. How dare you, sir? Merely because I do not wish to see government placed in the hands of judges, you would make these slanderous accusations? I'll not stand for it. Then I shall obviate the requirement. Good evening, sir. B, I presume. Pleasure to meet you. B. B. My name's Herbert. And why are you following the Prime Minister? It's just a job, sir. Some old bloke paid me to. Smug bastard. Well, I was born in Crawley, but that's by the by. Who are you working for? Oh, uh, I never got his name. Uh, old chap, big moustache, wore some kind of uniform. Who's ours, maybe? What's his game? Please, you'll kill me. And a three-story drop will shatter your legs and send you to the workhouse. Difference is you can run from him. Tomorrow! Oh, my lights are going to attack the Prime Minister's carriage on the way to Parliament. Perfect. Uh, uh, uh. 